Tonight, one of the worst offenders in the mortgage crisis, Countrywide Financial, has agreed to pay $335 million, a record, for steering African Americans and Hispanics into risky, expensive mortgages. Cheryl Ackeson reports this case of predatory lending ripped off an astounding number of victims. The Justice Department says Countrywide cheated 200,000 African American and Hispanic customers, charging them higher fees and interest rates than their white counterparts in 41 states and the District of Columbia. Thomas Perez heads up the Justice Department's Civil Rights Division. They were thrilled to have gotten a loan and realized the American dream. They had no idea they could have and should have gotten a better deal. At the height of the boom, Countrywide was the largest mortgage lender in the country and is blamed for making some of the worst loans. A third of them ended in foreclosure or default. Justice Department officials allege Countrywide steered minority borrowers into risky subprime loans, usually with costlier terms, such as exploding adjustable interest rates that rose dramatically after just two or three years. In 2007, an African-American family in Los Angeles getting a $200,000 loan from Countrywide paid $1,200 more in fees than similarly qualified white borrowers. The investigation began after the Federal Reserve and the Treasury Department alerted the Justice Department to potential discrimination by Countrywide. The case announced today isn't a prosecution, it's a settlement, so no one goes to jail. If it gets the court's approval, victims can apply for a piece of the $335 million compensation, roughly $1,675 a piece. Countrywide's now owned by Bank of America, but Cheryl, I wonder, why didn't the government bring criminal charges in this case? We asked about that, and the Justice Department told us that their goal in this investigation was not to prosecute executives, but to identify discriminatory practices and recover money for a wide class of the victims. Cheryl, thanks very much.